Don't let no more pieces pass, you are. Right? And they go to more pieces pass, you snatch it off your back, nigga. Ha! Huh? It's your boy Andy Bucks out here, man. In Bixie Streets, New York Touch, out here at Biggie Day. We turning this shit up. Look at the boogies out here. Like motherfucking Madagascar. <laughs> My boy. So, we want to know, what's your favorite Biggie colorway? Rock and red. The orange, the orange. orange. Nothing beats the orange. 2010 red with the golden side. Fire truck red. That yellow and lime was different. Slime green. Aqua, that's that's one of my favorite ones. Black, of course, the black with the gold inside, 2010 shit. And uh, I say the all white opening ceremony. That chrome shit that Mikey did. Ooh. All this shit. See, boy, Mikey Phelps, man. Eastside Harlem. Feel me? Hometown shit. You feel me? We outside. Back in the back. Yo, Biggie Day, you behind this, man. Talk to us. You know, man, five years of Biggie Day. You feel me? Started here. And we back in the same place, man. Eastside shit. You feel me? My favorite Biggie colorway hasn't came out yet. Ooh, I'm released. Shit, man. You feel me? Just come along. I'm released y'all right now. Bad, like, bad. damn. Yeah. Bad. Why is it, why is the Biggie so important and valuable to our culture, man? Yo, the Biggie so valuable. You feel me? This, this, is, this is like a stamp canvas of art, the culture, the community. You feel me? Love, energy. You feel me? All of the above. <laughs> you feel me? It's all in a coat, puffy coat. You feel me? Yeah. They can't fuck with us. You heard? What's your craziest Biggie story if y'all got one? Shit, my craziest Bro. Biggie story. Damn. Hearing, hearing people yeah, getting hearing sad shit and of wrong other niggas, for this not even me. And yeah. then this energy, <laughs> this event is turning the negative into to a the positive. positive. You feel me? You feel me? We all coming together. It ain't the color that I, I could get and you could get. When we was young, this shit wearing a biggie was like niggas was getting clipped. Needed to protection yeah, and all yeah, types of shit. Fact. So it's a it's a good thing. It was the first culture and the first icon jacket in the hood that was colorful and flavorful and brought people together to have fun. It was lit. You heard? Yeah. Daddy Wade, we Power Rangers out here. Real life Power Rangers. Like, you know, people at one time were in a very dark space because of it. You get what I mean? So to be able to now come all together and be like, I could be able to get this now and let's be together instead of, yo, let me kill you for that. You get what I mean? That's just more, more important. And everybody be copying the culture. You get what I'm saying? So, Vultures. Hello. Goodbye, Vultures. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Nostalgic feeling. This is a good feeling. Like, it was like how, how probably how the young dudes were when I'm on clear. It's like, it's the sun we wanted when we was younger. It mean a lot to us. It's the colors. You know, you don't see no, you don't see no coat. Still to this day, you don't see no coat no, with these colors right here. No moose knuckle, parrot jumper, <laughs> nothing. Goose has had it though. I give it to Goose though. Goose has had it, but feel me, Biggie's always had that. We yeah. always had that impact on the culture. Biggie's became a big thing in the, in the hood back in like, oh, I said like 07 and up, feel me? And People used to rock this shit, get robbed for it. Like it was, it was basically like a trend, like a status. Like if you could wear it, you good out here. You feel me? Like niggas will not do nothing to you if you rocking the shit. But yeah. if they see a nobody rocking, the niggas is taking that. Niggas trying to stay warm. You feel me? Eight hundred dollar coat. Feel me? And it's exclusive. Craziest Biggie story: catching the op, chasing him up Jamaica Ave. He got low though, but we was on his ass though. <laughs> We almost got him. Chased him up the app for the Go Forest Green, though. The Go Forest Green. <laughs> we needed that. that. <laughs> and I wanted that. And I almost had that, and we was on him. But he know who he is. Hey, Damn, I, was, I think I was walking through Harlem with it. And niggas was like, yo, you got the time? Done. The dude with the Come here. The dude with the stick and the ACG. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Look at him. Look at him. The, look cane, at him. the, look the cane. cane. You had to run from him back in the day. Be like that. Hey, here's your run. Check. It's over. It's over. Just know. <laughs> You're going down. <laughs> it's time, yo. Thank you. Right there, scary. All right, run from them. All right. Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Especially in the Bronx. Yeah. First of all, Harlem. <laughs> you might be Harlem. You might be okay, but in the Bronx, you see a nigga with a biggie and a tech on. Nah. Just wait. know. Wait, 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 wait. Time my, out, 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 time out. A Harlem nigga, he might let you slide a little bit. He might be like, oh, that's my man's, or he might be his other, you know. Well, and a Bronx, you know the Bronx? Cause you know in the Bronx, niggas is dirty. <laughs> Both in the Bronx say, now we dirty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But first of all, you can't walk through one, two, fifth with that shit. Stop playing with him. Stop playing. Apollo, Admo, Hasa Hoob, Lazarus. None of that with If you walk through one, through fifth and you're not strapped, you're dumb. You're dumb. Yo, as my brother all says, good night.